What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Tuesday, May 23rd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, the picks have been on fire. Hopefully I didn't just jinx this video. But we do have a 10 games MLB slate here tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. I like Sony Gray. He's got a 6% pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the San Francisco Giants. Sony Gray only giving up a 0.588 OPS to lefties, a 0.498 OPS to righties. Facing five lefties, four righties, no switch hitters. That's his weak pitch. And the Giants have only hit six of his last 34 pitches. That's a 176 batting average. So a pretty good start there. Sony Gray is 10,200 FanDuel salary, 400 more on DraftKings, averaging 37 fantasy points per game on the season. Has an ERA of 1.64. Record is 4-0, pitching an average of 92 pitches per game. Vegas thinks there's going to be 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under, so they think it's going to be a low-scoring game. So I like Sony Gray here versus the San Francisco Giants. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I got a value play for you here. This guy's way too cheap. I like Ty France. He's got a 22% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Luis Medina. Ty France batting 3% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .687 OPS versus righties. Luis Medina, he is giving up a .886 OPS versus righties, so he pitches his worst ball versus righty batters. No at-bats versus Medina yet. Ty France is only 2,800 FanDuel salary, 1,400 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He did score 18 fantasy points last game. Looks like he's coming out of a slump. Has a batting average of 260. So I'm going to buy low here in a good matchup. So I like Ty France here versus Luis Medina. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Jose Altuve. He's got a 65% batting advantage over Colin Ray. Jose Altuve batting 52% better versus righty pitchers, batting a 1.047 OPS versus righties. Colin Ray, he's pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 12% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 0.804 OPS versus righties. So Jose Altuve only 3,200 FanDuel salary, 2,100 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. Now, he did score fantasy points in his last three games. Only has a batting average of 222 so far this season, but I think his price tag is low enough and his upside is pretty high. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 9.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over under. So I like Jose Altuve here versus Colin Ray. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. So here's a value play, a risky play, but I like Emmanuel Valdez. 
And he's got a 93% batting advantage over Griffin Canning. So Emmanuel Valdez is batting a .934 OPS versus righties. And Griffin Canning giving up a .761 OPS versus lefties. So there's no at-bats versus Canning yet. Emmanuel Valdez is 2,700 FanDuel salary, 400 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. Now, he hasn't scored fantasy points in the last two games, but he put up 32 fantasy points the game before that. Has a batting average of 270. So I like Emmanuel Valdez as a value play here versus Griffin Canning. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. I like John Bertie with an 11% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Austin Gomber. John Bertie batting 30% uh, better versus lefty pitchers batting a .867 OPS versus lefties. Austin Gomber giving up a .896 OPS versus righties. Now John Birdie is 0 for 2 here versus Gomber, but he's only 3,100 FanDuel salary, 1,500 more on DraftKings. Now he's only averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season, but it looks like he's starting to come alive here. He's got a batting average of 277. And Vegas does think that there's going to be 11 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Austin Gomber. I'm sorry. I like John Bertie here versus Austin Gomber. Okay, moving on to the outfield position here. Lots of uh, outfield studs that are in great spots. Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, Brent Rooker. Uh, those are three studs that are just in fantastic spots. Good matchups, good splits, good player versus, uh, good batter versus pitcher history here. Like Shohei Otani is two for two here versus Bello. And um, so all three of these guys, fantastic outfield plays. Brent Rooker, let's take a look at him. He's got a 41% batting advantage over Marco Gonzalez. Brent Rooker, betting 20% better versus lefty pitchers, betting a 1.085 OPS versus lefties. Marco Gonzalez pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, 21% worse than his pitch to lefties, giving up a 0.944 OPS versus righties. Now, Brent Rooker is 3,700 FanDuel salary, 300 more on DraftKings, Averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 276. So I like Brent Rooker here versus Marco Gonzalez. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite play for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.